Intel. Alongside me now to assess the fierce competition in the technology market is Ben Wood, an analyst for CCS Insight in London. Hi. So as we're hearing there, Apple has, what, 75% of the market when it comes to the tablet. I mean, the, the sale of their iPad has been phenomenal. It's really seems to have emphasized the power of this brand. And of course, now other companies like Samsung want to take a bite out of Apple. Absolutely. They're <laughs> defying gravity with the volume they're doing. And I think even Apple themselves have been surprised by the mm. sheer volume the iPad's got. And uh, Everybody else, the big brands, and as you say, Samsung today, are chasing after them because they smell a significant opportunity in this new category. Will they see some success in doing so? Well, I think it's interesting. You know, Apple have really locked it up. They've nailed it from the perspective of having a device which not only gives a, a great hardware experience, but they've got the content on there, they've got the partners, the media players, newspapers, films, videos, all locked up. That takes time. And companies like Samsung historically have really focused on the hardware. But today we saw them doing content too, movies, books, uh, and, and also music, which is a big departure for them. So Apple will continue to dominate that market. The market beyond Apple will remain a niche, if you like. Well, we saw from the well, we saw from the market share figures on, on the screen there yeah. that you know Apple dominate it. Um, I think that you know, Samsung are the first tier one brand to come in. They'll want to challenge it. Slightly different form factor though. This is a seven inch device rather than the 9.7 inch device that Apple have. Fits more comfortably in the hand, but not as rich an experience quite yet because Apple are able to take all their legacy stuff with iTunes, a payment infrastructure with mm. 160 million people with credit cards. You know, they've really got the world at their feet right now. Now, Apple also announced that it was going to be upgrading its TV set-top box. Is that a good idea, given that, that the last Apple TV launched four years ago was something of a flop? Well, Steve Jobs describes this part of his business as a hobby, um, but I think they're getting serious now. They've had the opportunity to uh, do some research in the mm -hmm. marketplace with the Apple TV product so far, and I think they're really turning the world on its head. Anyone who uses this stuff right now, you have a big media server in your house with all your content on. The new Apple TV, Apple launched last night, is about throwing content off your mobile device. You've got an iPad, an iPhone, or something else with lots of content you take everywhere. You can come home and you can just throw that onto your TV and share it with your friends and family. So the idea, the advantage with this is that it would be mobile. You can take it wherever you go. No, the idea is you have um, basically a kind of hockey puck size box for yeah. $99 or £99, which you stick onto your TV through the HDMI lead. When you come in, you can just see that on your iPhone or on your iPad, connect to it. And if you've got content, so let's say you're watching you know, the news or whatever, and you want to then share that with people in the room, you can literally kind of virtually, electronically throw it onto the screen and go from the 9.7-inch screen to, say, your 40-inch LCD on the wall. Now, Sony is also attempting to take Apple on by, by launching, in digital media, by launching its own music video subscription service. How are they going to do in that market? Well, it's breaking news, really. We saw Sir Howard Stringer there making the announcement at IFA, and uh, you know, he's very much focused on the fact that Sony is a conglomerate, not only in consumer electronics, but mm. media and music as well. Um, they've tried to crack this market. You know, Apple, yeah. no one has succeeded yet. So you want to put a box in the living room, and that's right. going to be the hub for content. So curiosity is their effort on that. But I suppose, as you say, Sony, with its size, scale, marketing power, could be in a good position, a healthy position, to really take on Apple's dominance in this market? Well, I think it's more subtle than that, insofar as if you see a, a lot of uh, Apple households emerging now, you know, mum and dad and the kids have all got iPhones or iPads or, or, or iPod touches, they're very much bought into the Apple lifestyle, so the Apple box would fit well there. Maybe Sony can come in a bit more left field, exploit their competence in mm. gaming, for example, and and get their box into that place to serve content. Well, Ben Wood, thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it. Ben Wood, the analyst at CCS Insight.